I remember I was on a fishing trip with my parents and I was, I ended up taking photographs of them and particularly photographs of my mom. Um, and those photographs, I mean, I had, I already knew I was circling a project that wanted to play with structure in a way that I had in my short film, Nettles, but I knew I wanted to do it in a longer form project. And it was when I took those photographs that I really started to become deeper and deeper into the soil of the film, I felt like, um, because I'm interested in if our lives were to flood, what are the, those moments that would rise to the surface? Like that's what I'm interested in exploring in this film and how would they speak to each other? And yeah, it's really been like sitting with and within the land I come from, but also speaking more with family and thinking about structure that it led to this film. Yeah, it was a very organic process. It wasn't just one thing that led to it. It was an amalgamation of a lot of things. And the character of Mac, who's not based on my mother. I mean, there are details like Mac is born in 1970, which is my mom's birth year. But yeah, it was a day in the park where I was, we were, you know, just there relaxing and I just saw it. And also Charlene has a face where she, her face holds many years, which was a need for this character because it covers late teens to early 30s. And so not only um, certain characteristics and like the interiority qualities I was looking at for the character I saw in Charlene, but also just the fact that practically her face carries a lot of years, which I needed. Mm -hmm. I mean, first, I am a fan of Raven's work, right, from 10 years ago and, and when we were in our workshop. Um, and uh, from there, once I got the, the scripts, and it was, again, the language, um, also having seen her short films, um, I just really fell in love with the language and the, the experiments that the project was um, engaging in. I really loved the uh, screen directions. That was like my favorite part of the script mm -hmm. um, because they held so much, they were very simple, um, but they held so much information and they were very vivid for me in, in a way that really speaks to Raven's artistry as a poet, you know, and her background as a poet. Um, and I found that quite, uh, it was very unique because usually when you read a script, it's, the, the, the screen directions are quite factual. You know, they're just like a, a, a guide to how it needs to be shot and what's happening and what's the action. But there was so much detail that, you know, yes, spoke a thousand words and also didn't say too much. So mm. that was really interesting to me because as an actor then you you have scope when it comes to creating your character, but also you think the wider vision of the project is something that's gonna be really cool. Okay. I It felt like this project was is, is more of a magnet because mm -hmm. it never stopped attracting and pulling in first the script, then which was so delicious and challenged my own concept of what story can be, mm -hmm. which is exciting, scary, exciting, scary. Mm -hmm. Then black women, favorite people in the world. Mm -hmm. Then I meet my cast and yeah. I immediately became the most protective person in the world because everybody brought such generosity and vulnerability to the process that it was like, well, now we're here. Now, we, now we're stuck with each other. We, <laughs> we're in this. Um, so it, it never stopped pulling me in. Honestly, still, you know, and mm -hmm. I was saying earlier, I look forward to watching it multiple times mm -hmm. and seeing what it teaches me, because mm -hmm. that's what this feels like, something that can teach me personally.